Hi, welcome to Omnitron. Today we are going to talk about running VFDs from single phase power. Three phase motors are the most economical choice for applications larger than 10 horsepower. However, in some areas it's not feasible to run three phase power to the location that the motor is going to be installed. This is the case for many rural areas that use equipment such as grain dryers, irrigation pumps, reciprocating piston pumps, or sawmills located in remote areas. The traditional way to deal with this has always been to use an oversized VFD and run it on single phase power. Some drives need to be oversized up to 300%. Also, depending on the drive, running on a single phase may not be included in the UL listing for the drive. When you do this, the life of the drive is typically reduced due to the side effects of using single phase versus three phase. Some of the biggest side effects are higher currents that generate more heat in the drive's rectifier and the heat and wear on the drive's bus capacitors due to the increased ripple in the DC bus. The rectifier sees a higher current because most of the time when running a VFD off single phase power, your input current is double what your output current is. So if your three phase motor is drawing 10 amps a phase from the drive, the single phase input to the drive would be drawing around 20 amps. This increased current draw causes the drive's rectifier to run hotter than it normally would under normal three phase operation. Next, to explain the DC bus ripple, we need to talk about how a rectifier creates a DC bus. I'm gonna get a little technical, so bear with me. Alternating current, known as AC, is made up of a sine wave. Three phase AC is made up of three sine waves, one for each phase. A three phase DC rectifier is made up of six diodes that only let current flow when the AC waveforms are in the positive section. This generates our DC voltage. Now, if you notice in the image, our DC voltage is still wavy. This is called ripple. This is where the bus capacitors come in. They charge up when the waveform is in an upward slope and then release that charge when the waveform is in downward slope to smooth out the DC bus. This image shows what the DC bus looks like with the capacitors on it and no load. As you can see, the DC bus is very smooth, but as you add in a load, the ripple will return, but it will not be as bad because the capacitors are working to smooth it out. Now, to get back to the point. Drive manufacturers size the DC bus capacitors to handle the ripple that is created with a three-phase AC input with the minimum amount of capacitors needed to keep cost competitive. Let's demonstrate what happens when a three-phase drive is ran on single phase with the 30 horsepower drive we have here. I have this drive wired up so we can run it on three phases and then release a contactor and it will run on single phase. The load on this drive is going to be simulated with these four five horsepower motors that are down here. These two motors are connected straight to the wall and will be running at 60 hertz. These two motors are connected to the drive and are going to be running at 65 hertz to simulate a load on the drive. All right, let's get started. First, we need to power up the drive. And I have it running on three phase and we're setting the frequency to 65 hertz on the drive. All right, now that our drive is ready, we're gonna hit run. And I'm gonna flip the load motors on. As you can see, as I load the drive down, the DC bus begins to develop a ripple. Let's see how much current we're drawing at the drive's three phase input. Looks like we're drawing about 17 amps. Which is about right because our motor current is about 15 amps. Alright, I'm going to turn everything off, stop it. And I'm going to open up this contactor so our drive is going to run on single phase. Now that I've done that, I'm going to start the drive back up at 65 hertz. And we're going to load it down. 
Alright, our motor current is 16 amps now. And if you look at our waveform, we have significantly more ripple than we did with three phase. Let's take a look at our current measurement. Current's now drawing 31.6 amps. All right, now let's take a look at how the M3712 can solve these problems. The M3712 is a single phase power supply for your VFD. With this solution, there is no need to oversize your drive for single phase applications. The rectifier in the M3712 is rated for the current draw that you would see from a single phase connection. It also has SCR precharge built into it to create a soft start condition for the drive. Also included is extra internal DC bus capacitance to help smooth out the additional ripple caused by single phase operation. The M3712 powers the drive through the DC bus terminals and can also be used to create a common DC bus for a multi-drive setup. As you can see here, we have a reactor in our setup. It is strongly encouraged to use a reactor to smooth out the current peaks generated by the M3712. If you need lower harmonics in your setup, you can substitute a harmonic filter for the reactor. If you go to bonitron.com backslash M3712, you can view the recommended reactors and harmonic filters. Now let's take a look at what happens when we power the drive using the M3712. Alright, first we're going to power on the M3712 and then we're going to enable it. Alright, and then as soon as our drive goes ready, we'll start the motors. There's my ready. And we'll load it down. All right, motor current is 15.2 amps, and if you look at our waveform, our ripple is not nearly as bad as it was last time. Let's check our current. And we're drawing about 31.8 amps of current. So now you have seen the benefits of using Bonitron's M3712 single phase power supply for your single phase needs. If you are looking for more information on the M3712 or any of Bonitron's other products, go to www.bonitron.com. Also, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any other questions about the M3712, let us know in the comments. Also, if there's a product you'd like to see a video done about, you can put that in the comments as well and we'll try and get to it. You guys have a great day and we'll see you next time.